Hello everyone and welcome back to part 34 of Build HMS Victory. Okay so when we finished off the last video I just finished off all the port side gallery and now I'm going to concentrate on working on the stern one. I've still got this roof section to finish off but I'm going to wear like incorporate them both as I come up building this side. I'm going to build them all and tie them all in together. So anyway, I think the first thing to do is obviously cut out the windows and start sticking these in place. So as I cut the, uh, the windows off the little like, uh, backboard, I'm just going to glue everyone in place. What I'm going to do is just put a dot in each corner, because you saw obviously all the rest of the mouldings, and obviously the window ledges, that's pretty much what's going to hold the window, uh, windows in place, so this is just so I can kind of line them up. Yeah, that first one was okay. Okay, I'll carry on. I'll do all the rest. Okay, so all the windows are in place and just, and just tack glued in. So now I'm just going to add the first part of the moulding. It's the one that just runs along this, this dextric moulding. And all this is for is just to make this, this moulding at the bottom just look a little bit larger. And it's just a 1.5mm by 1.5mm piece of stock. And that's just going to be glued and, and band around that. Same again because I want the instant the instant grab. I'm just using super glue on these sections. I'm just gonna drop a bit in between the windows. I'm just trying to be careful, make sure I don't get any on this window section. I'll just slightly cut this one at 45 degrees at the end. I'm just going to bend it down and hold it while the super glue takes. Yeah, so the first piece of trim is now dry. I actually forgot to do what I've, I've been doing in previous years. It's just slightly dampen the wood first, and it just seems to make the Super glue stick a lot better because this is just my basic ply, so it's very dry. So, yeah, so as soon as I let go of the, uh, the trim, it just pinged off. So, yeah, just, just dampen it slightly. Okay, so what I do now is just like I've done before, I'm just going to re plank this section between the window sections with just some 4mm by 0.5mm cedar. Okay, so I'm just moving along, just adding some more super glue so I can just curve this this timber down. 
it's only 0.5 so it's very flexible it's got a 17 mil spacer just checking just want it slightly above it That's okay. Just trim that one. Okay, so I've just got another piece of 1.5 by 1.5. I'm just going to add this directly below that first layer of planking I've just added. Same again, I'm just cutting it slightly at 45. Just gonna bring that up to that one. Okay, so again, that stick was a lot more tricky than I thought. So what I've done, I've just cut some little spaces. It's just keeping it pinned against the first plank I put in. And obviously just secure it. I think I'll run a little bit of obviously wood glue down this seam line. Okay, so I just replanked all this section. I don't know real issues with getting it to stick. So I just went back to the old method. It was obviously uh, just pinning it. And like I say, it looks a bit of a mess in the minute, but as soon as you pull the pins out and sand it down, it'll look fine. So I'm just going to let the glue dry and then we'll carry on. Okay, so the glue's almost dry on these planks I've added. So now it's time I'm going to fit the, the second dextry moulding. This is going to be a bit difficult because obviously it's going to be all fingers and thumbs and I'm not trying to get my hands in the way. I'm just going to fit that across there and join up the two corners. Gonna have some PV. Oh, just leave us just give it a wood glue all the way across this this plank. Okay, now I'm just gonna sit this piece in just. Loosely to start with, actually the other pins are acting, acting quite nice, that's kind of keeping it something level. Okay, so what I've done for this section is I've got some of the pins and I've just cut one of the ends off and I've slightly bent it 90 degrees so now I see that I can kind of push it, line these parts up. And I can push it all the way in. And that's acting as an anchor point, you can see that. Yeah. Same again. It's gonna go into the centre this time. This case is one of the little pins, as obviously, wear eye protection. Take the end off, get it ping off, and just we bend, just bend it about halfway. Gives you a nice little like little bracket. 
I always pre mark mine. I've got like I say just solid is it's just a pin in a vice drill and I just press it in. Makes it easier. And just take your little bracket you've just made into the into the pre marked hole. Can't find it. Can't find a hole. Yeah. Okay, so in this, and then just use the ends of the pliers just to push your snug. I wish I'd have thought that earlier. Like I say, it's not really going to make too much of an impression into the into the wall. It won't tint it that much, so that's okay. Put one in his final corner and that's the moulding on. And that's the last one in. Just get my brush with some water on and just Brush it along, taking off and working in any excess glue. Okay, so I'm going to start filling these sections of the window now. And I'll just add one on the other side. Okay, so set to an angle victory. A little bit closer to me because if I can't see what I'm doing, then <laughs> I'm not gonna make a very good job. Okay, so it's just time to start filling these window partitions in. Okay, I'll just carry on the process all the way along and I'll back in a second. Okay, so I just fit all the spaces between the windows. I quite enjoy that bit. I quite find it quite relaxing just cutting and slotting these in. It's a lot more stress-free than trying to bend the decorative pieces. So anyway, I'm just going to pull the pins out and carry on.
Okay, so I've just filled in these sections, just using some extra planking. Well, this is mainly for just obviously for these decorative castings that we get. Just wanted to bring them slightly forward. I mean, these are really not to scale at all. They should pretty much fill in this section. But obviously, it's what came with the kit, so it's what I'm going to have to use. But it's just going to fit in like that. So when the glue's dry, I'll just trim the edges and carry on. Okay, so I've just trimmed off these ends. I get a slight sanding all the way over, and now it's just time to fit these decorative mouldings. One comes either side. Like I said, they don't come, they're not to scale because they they pretty much fill up this whole section. This only fills up a slight section. This okay. So I'm just going to mix a little bit of two part epoxy resin and glue them in place. Okay, so I've just mixed up a little bit of epoxy resin. I'm just going to run a section of them. I'm just going to pop this in place. Then I'm just going to take a little off cut free, free mill. And just use that to line up. This uh, epoxy resin, it, it, it sticks like nothing, but it doesn't have an instant grab, so you can you get a little bit of time to play about with it. Okay, I'll put some more onto the second one. Okay, so that's them two fixed in place. And they look okay. I'll put a picture on screen how they should look on the real victory, just so you can see that they're not quite to scale, but yeah, yeah, they they, they they look okay. They're going to fit the purpose. Okay, so that's it for this video. It's hitting about twenty minute mark. Okay, so if you join me next week, I'm going to carry on and some more windows. And I've also got some more of these decorative parts that came with the kit. So I've got to try and figure a way of adding these and marry it into a window ledge. I'll put the picture on screen so you know you can see what I'm talking about. Yeah, so they all marry in together. So yeah, that's going to be fun trying to work that out. Especially as I'm working on plans. So anyway, I hope you liked the video. If you do, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And obviously if you've got any comments, obviously I love to read your comments and obviously I'd like to reply to them. So yeah, so please leave me a comment and I'll see you all next time.